what is up guys Phoenix here and welcome to what I hope is the final part of our Kirishima Ejiro pixel art tutorial so where we last left off we finished up the hair and I figured sorry I was gonna do the face but I figured to start from the lowest part of the body and work our way up to the face so we'll be done once we're done with the face so we're gonna do the neck first then we'll do the ear then we'll do the eyes and everything and then we'll be done and I'll go over the colors with you guys. So let's just jump right into it. I know you guys are excited to get this one out of the way. This has been a pretty long tutorial to be honest. The hair is very, very time consuming. So what I want to do first is let's go to the left part of the neck to start off. And on the left part of the neck, we are going to go to kind of this little corner piece where everything starts sloping towards the, uh, the face. So we have these singles right here. And then we have this three vertical, then a 27 strip. So this is the corner we want to work with and actually what we can do is go to this little these diagonals we have over here and get rid of those because I don't know why they're floating here don't know why I have those there at all so once we find this little corner right here I want you to go to the three vertical and we're gonna go to the lowest block in it and put one piece and actually we're supposed to grab our oak planks I want to say or is it yeah it's oak planks and we're going to put one piece of oak to the right side of the lowest block on this three. I don't even know how I said that correctly. So this is how it's supposed to look so far. Once you have that oak plank in place, we're going to go up into the right four more singles from it. So let's go to the top. And we're gonna one, two, three, four. And we can go and delete these extra dirt blocks now because you've already located where we wanna build from. And if you haven't yet, then too bad. <laughs> Anyways, uh, from there, we're gonna go up into the right three flat. So let's put our placing block to the top or right side. One, two, three. And let me actually arrange this around because we don't need the nether brick anymore, at least for now. So I can actually move that closer to the grass block. From here, we're gonna be going back down. So let's put our placing block underneath or to the right side. And we're gonna go down into the right three singles. One, two, three down into the right two flat one two down into the right two vertical one two and from the bottom block into two vertical we're going to add an extra oak plank to the right like so to create this l shape and we're going to continue dipping down um it should we should connect somewhere that low so that just kind of lets you know the angle we're going to be building at but from here we're going to go down into the right four singles one two three four down into the right two flat one two down into the right one two three four five six singles one two three four five six down into the right two flat again so you can see it's just a lot of repetitive shapes to be honest like for example after this two flat we're going to do it similar to what we did to the L shape over there where we go down into the right two vertical one, two, and on the lower block in the two vertical, we're gonna put one to the right again. So it's a lot of repetitive shapes, but it's all just to get lower. Uh, from here, we're gonna go down into the right two singles, down into the right two flat, one, two, down into the right one single again, down into the right three flat, one, two, three, and if you can see we're one above the ground, we're gonna start bringing it back up though. So we're gonna put our placement block to the right or top side, not the bottom anymore. Let's go up into the right one single. Up into the right two flat. One, two. And then finally to connect to this wall, we're just going to go up into the right two singles. One, two. Perfect. So if you are looking at the thumbnail, you'll recognize that the top half of this is all oak and the bottom half is all birch, I want to say. Um, yeah, it's just to distinguish the color in the neck. At least I think that's what I did in the finished build. Let me actually double check real quick I had a little bit of confusion on what blocks I was supposed to be using so sorry about that but once we have these two singles complete what we can do then is let's go to this uh, coal thing it's connected to this part of the neck and if you can see this is 11 vertical that it's now connected to and what we're going to do is go to the top two blocks in that 11 vertical so these two right here and we're going to put an oak plank to the right of each of those and that will be our starting point for this next little bit of shading. So once you have that, this is a very small segment. We're just going to go down into the right three vertical. So place the block underneath. One, two, three. Down into the right two vertical. One, two. Down into the right three single. One, 
two, three. Down into the right three vertical. One, two, three. And we're really close to the ground now, so all we're going to do is switch direction and go down into left two singles. One, two. And now that we've touched the ground, we're actually done with the oak plank stuff. So we can switch to now, I want to say, um, instead of coal, let's, we can actually use coal, actually. Never mind. Um, I was going to say we would use black, um, black concrete, but we can use coal for this part and then black concrete for the coloring. So in this 11 vertical that we connected to to do this neck thingy right here, let's follow it up now. And then there should be a 9 vertical above it. So you can see here's the 11. If we go up above it, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 vertical. It's all connected to what we just built. And what we want is the top block in that. And we're going to put a coal to the left of it. But if you want, um, I suggest maybe just using black concrete for this just so you can tell the difference even if it's just slightly telling the difference. From that black concrete, we're gonna go down into the left two vertical, one, two, down into the left three singles, one, two, three. And basically this is a little bit of a shadow that's beneath his neck just to give him like a little bit of shading. We don't have too much shading going on. Actually, we do have a lot of shading, but um, this is just some shading for the neck. So from here, we're gonna go down into the left five flat, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna bring it back up to the chin. So let's go up into the left eight singles now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna go up into the left two flat, two times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. And then to finish this off, we're just gonna go up into the left two vertical. One, two. And then up into the left five singles. One, two, three four five very very close to the wall right there and that's why i said use black concrete so you can tell the difference between your shading blocks and the actual outline and you can fill this all in each row by row underneath the chin with the black concrete it'll all make sense later when you actually color the skin in but for now um, let's move on so what we have next to do is the face and then we're done and then also this little ear section because we didn't actually color in the left ear so i want to fly over to the ear right now um, we can put the black concrete away and start using the black coal. And let's go to where the hair kind of dips into the ear over here. So here's the ear. You can see it curved up like so. Let me just kind of trace it out for you to see. And then somewhere along the line, there's this three vertical that dips in from the hair. This very spiky dipped in. So if you're able to find this little section right here, let's go to this lower one. This one that's all the way the lowest three vertical. And let's go to the center block in that. And from there, what I want to do is put a, a placement block to the right and then a piece of coal after that. And if you're able to locate that, that's a good point to start. Just kind of look at where I'm at in the, um, the right-hand camera screen and you can kind of size things up. There are a lot of three verticals everywhere, but if you can kind of just line yourself up, you'll be in the right spot. So from here, what we're going to do is go down into the right six singles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what we're going to do is go up into the right three vertical. So place them block to the right or top side. One, two, three. And then we kind of need to bring it back in now. So let's go up into the left two singles. One, two. And then up into the left two vertical. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. And now if you look at the right hand camera screen that creates like at least some decent um, lines in the ear kind of like what we have on the right side it's just um it's just good practice to have those those markings in the ear so uh from here what we can do now is start the face now we only have one point of reference to start the face and that's on the right side where we have those floating blocks so we're going to go over there and use that to kind of shape our way through everything so let's fly over there and this is the final part so all we can do is just save it real quick and just get this thing out of the way all right so now that you have it saved, we have these three verticals marked out right here. And actually, mm, let's see, from these three verticals, what can we do with this? It's evened out with, I think, the four vertical over here and at the lowest point. Okay, I know where we are. So from this three vertical, what we're going to do is do the lower half of things and then go to the upper half. So let's go to the bottom of it and we're going down to the left. So we're going to put our placement block on the bottom or left side. And let's go down into left one single with coal. 
down into left two vertical, one, two, down into left two singles, one, two, down into left two flat, one, two, down into left eight flat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're gonna go up, so we're gonna go up into left three flat, one, two, three, up into left two singles, one, two. And actually, before we continue with this eye, what we can do is for these singles, we can go to the second one, this top one right here, and we can take our placement blocks and go down into the left from it, five placement blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and I meant five singles, sorry, so like this, I just create this diagonal shape, and then from there what we can do is we can go down into the left seven vertical coal, so connect to it at the diagonal, and then we're just going to put seven coal going straight down, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's going to be the place where we start the nose and mouth, so we can come back to that later um, and go back to the eye, what we were working on, but let's just mark that out so we know where to come back to for the nose. So now that we have those singles, we're going to go up and to the left from it. And actually, I think this is where we kind of switch between that and the um, the white for the the pupil. So we can grab our white concrete and go up and to the left, two vertical, one, two, and then up and to the left, five vertical, one, two, three, four, five. And then now we'll switch back to our coal. Just a little quick segment for the um, the pupils. From there, we're going to go up into left three verticals, so place some block on top, one, two, three. And once we have that three vertical, we're going to kind of have to double layer up with the eye and split up a little bit. So we're not working with the bottom block, but on the middle block, we're going to put one coal to the right. And on the top block, we're going to go up into the right one single. So place some block one. We should have something that looks like this. Now let's mark this middle block because we're going to come back to it. But from the top block, let's finish that up first. We're going to go up and to the right two singles. One, two. There we go. Up and to the right two flat. One, two. Up and to the right three flat. One, two, three. And from the three flat, we can go to the first block and put two placement blocks on top. One, two. And then a coal on top of that to start the eyebrows. And kind of like what we did with the nose, we're not starting the eyebrows yet, so we can mark that and come back to it later. Instead, we're going to go to the three flat and go to the end of it, put a placement block down so that we can go up and to the right, four flat. One, two, three, four. Up and to the right, six flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down into the right, three flat. One, two. Oh my gosh, why is the sensitivity so bad? Down into the right two singles, one, two. Down into the right five vertical, one, two, three, four, five. And we're really, really close to connecting, so all we're going to do is we're going to go down into the left two singles, one, two. And we should have connected directly above the three vertical that we started with, kind of extending it, and that's not the last time it's going to extend up. Um, we do have to kind of double layer things here a bit. So, Let's kind of go back now to the three vertical that we had on the left side. And you remember we didn't do the middle block yet. We're going to do that right now and just thicken up the eyes. So from this middle block, we're going to go up and to the right. Three more singles. And this is all with coal. One, two, three. Up and to the right, two flat, two times in a row. Placement block on the right or top side. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. Up and to the right, nine flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna curve back down. So let's go down into the right, two flat. One, two. Down into the right, two single. One, two. And now to finish off the shape, we're gonna go down into the right, four vertical. So place some block underneath. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So if you look at the right-hand camera screen, you can see a lot of space between the eyes right here to color that in with black, um, just, just to thicken it up a bit. But we're also missing the eyeball. So what we're going to do for the eyeball is let's kind of backtrack to where we had the middle block we were working with. You can see we had the four singles, and then we went into the two flats. And let's go to the 
top single so this one right here so we have one two three four and this is the top single right here because right next to it we have the two flats and from the top single we're going to put three placement blocks to the right one two three and then three blocks of coal one two three perfect from there now we're going to create like a symmetrical eye shape we're going to just go from the three flat and on each side, we're going to go down into the left one single or down into the right one single. So let's put a placing block underneath. The eyes are very, very easy to do. Then we're going to go down into the light left five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. And on the right side, we're going to go down into the right five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to bring it in using the same thing we did at the top where we go on the left side, we go down into the right one single. One. And on the right side, we're going to go down into the left one single. One. And then we close the shape with the same three flat. So let's go down into the right, three flat. One, two, three. Perfect. It's very good for the eyes. So now once we have that, what we can do is let's go to the three vertical, I mean the three flat, sorry. And let's go to the center block on the bottom and put two placement blocks above it. One, two and then two coal on top of that, or two black concrete. Either is fine for the eyes. And I think I ended up doubling up on the eyes, so for now I'm gonna just put one to the right of each of these, like so. But if um, I corrected the eyes later, I'll let you know. But I'm pretty sure I doubled up on the eyes, so I'm gonna put one to the right of each of those. All right, from there now, let's go up to this single that we have for the eyebrows. And what I want to do first is we're going to add four to the left of it. So you can get rid of the dirt block and put four pieces of coal to the left. One, two, three, four. We're then going to go down into left one single. Down into left three vertical. One, two, three. And from the bottom block into three vertical, we're going to add an extra block to the right. And now what we need to do is lock this shape out. So we're going to go up into the right three singles. One, two three perfect now we do have a doubling up on the eyebrows so we're going to color this in with black concrete but there is another layer of red eyebrows that we need to do so let's go to the left side of the eyebrows we just did and where we have this three vertical right here we're going to go above it with the grass blocks and put two on top one two and then we're going to put a coal after that and this is where we're going to start the um, the actual eyebrows. So from that single now, let's add an extra block to the left. And from that extra block to the left, we're going to put one below and one on top. So let's go to the top block now and put a placement block on top so we can go up and to the right two singles. One, two. Up and to the right two flat two times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. Up into the right three flat. One, two, three. Up into the right two flat. One, two. Up into the right one single. And that kind of closes out the corner piece right there. What we can do now is go back all the way to the original block where we have this single pointed out to the right side. And let's bring that up now by going up into the right one single up into the right two flat one two up into the right three singles one two three and it should have connected to everything so that's fine and what we can do now is color in all these gaps with red concrete but I'm not probably gonna actually I'll just do it real quick we can just color in all these gaps with red concrete and that gives him his like eyebrow color Perfect, so that's the right eye completely done. We can now move on to the left eye and then we'll do the nose and mouth and then I'll go over the colors and we'll be free. So, the way we're gonna do the left eye is let's go to the left side of this eyeball where we have these white blocks and then this three vertical right here. And from the middle block into three vertical, we're going to go switch to our placement blocks and put 17 placement blocks to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then a coal after that. Let's delete these extra ones now. 
Sorry if I'm starting to slur a little bit, guys. I've been recording for a while and my voice is very tired. Uh, from this single, we're going to put two below it. One, two. And actually, I don't think that's supposed to be um, black. Okay. The two singles that we just put below, we're switching those to white concrete. Sorry about that. So it's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be, supposed to be the first block was supposed to be coal, but then the two underneath it were supposed to be white. Then from there, we're going to put a placement block underneath so that we can go down and to the left for vertical with the white concrete. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to switch back to our coal and go down into left one single. Perfect. So that's going to be a kind of good way to start the eye. As you can see, it mirrors what we had on the right side and we finished the pupil work. So let's work with this single on the bottom right here and bring it back around. So we're going to be going down into the left. So let's put our placement block on the left side as we go down into the left three flat two times in a row. One, two, three, that's one. One, two, three, that's two. Down into the left seven flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up into the left three flat. One, two, three. Um, we're gonna start curving it now. So let me just make sure this is correct. Yeah, we're gonna go up into the left the three flat again. One, two, three. Up into the left five singles. One, two, three, four, five. Up into the left two vertical. One, two. And from this two vertical, we're gonna kind of split into two directions, kind of like what we did on the right side, except this is gonna be a little bit more complex to kind of uh, thicken the eyes. So be careful. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna go up into the left from the two vertical four vertical, so placement block on the top or left side. One, two, three, four. And then from that four vertical, we're gonna go up into the right two singles. One, two, and we can mark those out because we're not gonna do those yet. Instead, what we're gonna do is go back now to the two vertical we have right here. And let's put a piece of coal to the left of the top block. Then from that piece of coal, we're gonna go up into the left two vertical. One, two. Up into left four vertical, one, two, three, four. And now you can see the official branching in the two directions for the eyebrows, or at least for the eyes. So for the inner part, this is where the two singles we just did were. But for the outer part, we're gonna be using this four vertical and kind of wrapping around to the coal we have over there. So let's put our placement blocks on the right side each time and we should be fine. And we're gonna go up into the right one single, up into the right two flat, one, two, up into the right three flat, one, two, three. Up into the right four flat, one, two, three, four. Up into the right nine flat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now, like I said, we're gonna have to bring it back down. So put our placement block on the right side still or bottom side. And we're gonna go down into the right two flat two times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. Down into the right four singles. One, two, three, four. Down into the right two vertical. One, two. And then to connect this shape, we're just gonna go down into the right one single. One. Perfect. So now all we have to do is thicken this eye, do the pupil, and then do the eyebrows, and we should be done. So let's go back to the two singles we have on the left side of this and we're going to knock off these dirt blocks, put our placement block to the right side, and go up into the right two flat, one, two, up into the right four flat, one, two, three, four, up into the right 10 flat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, and from that last block into 10, let's put a placement block to the right, but also let's put two placement blocks underneath it, one, two, like so, and the reason I did this was because underneath these two, we can put our coal there for the eyes. And this eye is gonna be the exact same as what we did on the right side. So what we can do is put two to the left of this, one, two, and this will be our three flat to create the shape. So on the left side, we're gonna go down into the left one single. On the right side, we're gonna go down into the right one single. And we're gonna fa um, finish the pattern by going down into left five vertical on the left side. One, two, three, four, five down to the right five vertical on the right side one two three four five and then we bring them back in 
are going down into the right on the left side, one single, then down into the right three flat, one, two, three, and then just go up into the right one single, like so. Perfect. Now let's go to the center block on the bottom three flat right here and put two pieces of placement blocks on top, one, two. Then we're going to put our black concrete, one, two, and add an extra block to the right of each. Perfect, so that's it for the eyes. Like I said, I might only need to be a single row. We'll go over the eyes later, you'll see what it is. Maybe you need to knock these off, I don't know. But um, it shouldn't be that different. Anyways, now let's go back up to the 10 flat we created before bringing down the eyeball. And let's bring, start um, doubling up the layer by going to this uh, right block we have and using it to go down into the right two flat two times in a row. One, two, one, two and mark them if you need to so you can see where they're at. From there, we're gonna go down into the right four singles and that should be that. One, two, three, and the fourth block was already there. Perfect. From there, we can start working on the double eyebrows that we have on the right side, except on the left side, of course. So let's stick in this same area right here. And what I want to do is where we have this, oh, actually, I was going to say where we have this backward R shape. We have a lot of backwards R shapes. Um, instead, what we'll do is at the top most part of this eye where we have this nine flat up here, this is the most easiest part to locate. We're going to go to the right of it and put six pieces of placement blocks to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a coal. That should be easy enough to follow along. Look at the right-hand camera screen if you need help. It's literally the top part of the eye. From here, we're going to get rid of these dirt blocks. And then from the coal, what we can do now is we can go down into the right, two singles from it. One, two. Down into the right, two vertical. One, two. And from that two vertical, we can add an extra set of coal to the right of it. And put one below and one above it. Now let's lock out the shape by going to this four vertical and going up into the left two vertical, one, two, up into the left four flat, one, two, three, four, and that closes out the shape. So now we can take our black concrete and color it in, kind of like what we did to the right side. So from this four flat we have on the top right now, we're going to go to the right side of it and put three placement blocks to the right, one, two, three, and then what we're going to do is put a two coals after that one two and this is going to make our red set of eyebrows so on the left block we're not going to do anything but on the right block we're going to put one below and two above it one two and then we're going to start looping around so from the top block right here let's put a placement block to the top or left side and we're going to go up into the left one single up into the left two flat one two up into the left one single again, up into the left three flat, one, two, three, up into the left five flat, one, two, three, four, five, up into the left four flat, one, two, three, four, and now we need to bring it back in. So what I suggest doing is on this final four flat right here, we're going to go to the two blocks on the right side. And put an extra set of coal below each of them like this and then from there we're going to go down into the right two flat one two three four times in a row so one two that's one one two that's two one two that's three one two that's four and we're really really close to our starting point all we have to do is go down into the right one single and then down into the right two flat again to connect it one two once you have that, you can switch to your red concrete again, kind of like what we did to the right side and color this in, and you should have your second set of red eyebrows. So this is perfect. We only have the mouth and the nose to do, and then we'll go over the colors, and you will be done with your My Hero build, guys. You're almost there. So pat yourself on the back if you made it this far. Take a deep breath, and let's just finish this thing strong. So if we drop down to the nose, we should have this seven vertical strip waiting for us. And what we're going to do is on the top block in it, we're going to go up into the left, two vertical with our coal. So put your placement block to the top, one, two. And then on the bottom block, we're going to go down into the left, two vertical, one, two. And that's it for the nose. 
We're then going to go underneath this bottom set of two vertical, switch to our grass blocks and put 16 going straight down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then a coal after that. And once you have that coal, we're going to put three to the left of it. One, two, three. And we're going to do one thing with the left side and the right side. On the right side, we're going to go down into the right three flat. One, two, three. And on the left side, we're going to go down into the left seven flat. So place and block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're then going to go down into left four flat. One, two, three, four. And then finally down into left two flat. One, two. Perfect. So now let's delete all these dirt blocks that are in our way and you are actually completely finished with your pixel art tutorial. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the tutorial so far. We're going to jump into the finished build and go over the colors real quick. Or if you have the thumbnail in front of you, you can pause the video right now and just color it yourself. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this and I'll see you guys in a quick jump cut. Alright guys, so welcome to the finished build. So if you're looking at this thing right now, we're going to go over what colors you're going to need to color this bad boy in. We're actually not going to need too many. We're going to need birch planks, oak planks for the skin, um, black concrete for some of those missing sections such as the eyes. You see the, the thickening, thickened layer of the eyes, the um, second eyebrow and underneath the neck. Um, white concrete for the eyes, red concrete for the hair red nether brick and normal nether brick and you can see the shoulder pads is where those come into play um and actually now that i see i used the red nether brick for the eyebrows as well but i could have used red concrete so but i'll just go over the, the colors exactly as i did them so starting from the bottom and the shoulder pads we kind of switch up between the red nether brick and nether brick and the left corner of it we're going to use nether brick and then the big part of the left pad we used red nether brick and this is um, kind of opposite for the right side. Actually, it's the same pattern. It's just that one takes up more space. On the left side of the right pad, we used nether brick and red nether brick for the right side. You can see that in right hand camera screen. Hopefully not too confused. The coloring of the skin is kind of confusing. You can see on the left hand camera screen, there is different shades in the neck, but you can't really see it on the right hand screen. So we're going to use oak planks for the top part of this sectioned off the area we did. And then oak plant, uh, oak planks in this little corner that we did as well. And then everything else is birch. You can see the lower part is all birch. This right segment of his shoulder is birch. Um, excluding this darkened section of his neck, the entire face is birch. Both ears are birch. And then you're pretty much done. It's all birch. Uh, for the neck, we're going to use black concrete. And then from there, we can go up to the face where I already told you everything on the face is birch. And we already sectioned off the eyeballs with the white concrete. So make sure you color in everything in that with white. And then on the inner part of the eyes, we used red concrete. Um, noting for the eyes, remember I had you guys double up into a 2x2 two two square like this. It's actually a 3x2. So just add another layer to the top. And you should have this little thick eyeball thing going on here. Otherwise, if you guys thought it looked fine, you can leave it. It's not really that big of a deal. There we go. Um, going up from there. You can see in the eyebrows I used red nether brick, but I'm pretty sure if you use red concrete, it'd be just fine. And then we are on to the hair, which is the kind of difficult part, but we've sectioned it off appropriately. Um, using just the nether brick first, you can see on the left hair, we have this V shape with nether brick all below it. And then we sectioned off this entire backwards L shape that kind of just goes down all the way to his neck. Everything below this is going to be nether brick. See, all the hair behind his neck on both sides of his face are nether brick. Then we have this little tips of nether brick on the left spikes right here and right there. And then if you follow towards the center part of his head, he has about four sections of nether brick. Um, this inner spike right here, we already traced that out. Then this left kind of tip thing spike. I don't know. These spikes are really weird, guys, but it looks good on the right hand screen. And then this big uh, plank or oval shape goes all the way to the top plank right there is also nether brick. Um, going to the right side, we have this right spike where we also shaped out. We're going to color that in with nether brick. Um, the spikes on the right side are all going to be nether brick as well. Um, the only thing that you would have to notice for red concrete on the right side, because the left side is pretty self-explanatory, just everything else is red concrete. But pay attention on the right side of the hair. You can see that we've sectioned off this area to the top part and the bottom part. But we have this little tiny layer right here that's going to be red concrete. So make sure you color this in early so you don't forget. Everything below it, of course, is red, I mean, nether brick. 
um, but this little section right here is important for red concrete and then you can see it connects all the way to here which connects to the rest of the hair so pause the screen if you need to make sure your everything's sectioned off and I suggest doing the nether brick first and then coloring the red concrete afterwards just so that way um, you can make sure you've sectioned everything off properly but if you guys have made it this far, that means you've completed successfully your Kirishima build. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. Pause if you need to, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. And let me know what you guys want to see next built on the channel. I'm going to be working on Mega Pearl next because I think I have to do the final part for that. But I've already started uploading tutorials, so should be good. I should have it done by the time it's uploaded, maybe February 20th. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the channel. This is Phoenix, and as always, I'll see you guys later.